Let's go through a couple of examples of atmospheric refraction. It turns out that we continue to see the sun after it has set below the horizon. If we look at this model here, obviously it's not drawn to scale, but light from the sun travels straight and when it hits the Earth's atmosphere right there, the Earth's atmosphere is just slightly more optically dense than empty space and actually the further you go down in the atmosphere towards Earth's surface it gets more and more optically dense because the air gets more dense but in any case we know that whenever light is traveling in a faster medium into one in which it travels more slowly namely the atmosphere it's going to bend toward the normal if light were to go straight it would travel like so but because light refracts it actually bends toward the normal right there when it hits the upper atmosphere and it actually continues to bend toward the normal as it goes into the lower atmosphere so from our perspective it looks like the Sun is right over there even though it isn't so we actually continue to see the Sun after it's passed below the horizon the index of refraction increases as you go lower and lower in the atmosphere so light bends continually until it reaches you the observer this is a bunch of data I believe it's from the United States Navy with regard to sunrise and sunset times in central Illinois where I live and you can see here that I've highlighted March and September and I've found this time in March where the Sun rises at 605 and sets at 1805 in other words there are exactly 12 hours between sunrise and sunset here on March 17th on September 26th we have the same situation the Sun rises at 547 in the morning and sets at 1747 which is of course 547 in military time 12 hours difference however the equinox is not on March 17th nor is it on September 26th typically the equinox is more like around March 21st and September 21st give or take a day perhaps but you can see here that the observed times that we see the Sun rising and setting on March 21st it rises about seven minutes before and sets about four minutes after an ideal 12 hour time difference what that says is that we can actually see the Sun before it rises and you can see the Sun a little bit after it is actually set below the horizon that's the same case here on the equinox you can actually see the Sun there's a five minute difference this is 547 this is 542 and here there's an eight minute difference this is 1747 this is 1755 so in normal Illinois you can see the Sun roughly six minutes before it actually geometrically pops above the horizon and you can see it for on average about six minutes after geometrically it's gone below the horizon sunlight refracts while traveling through Earth's atmosphere unless the Sun is directly overhead it isn't quite where you think it is in the morning we see the Sun for several minutes before it actually appears above the horizon and in the evening we see it for a few minutes after it has actually set